fish will be pucker once we fry them up with a touch of tarragon and lemon. Sweet! Excellent! Whoa, 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 that's not what you think. Nathan, it's a sweet tin. Have you ever heard the expression, if it looks like a duck, it's a duck? <gasps> oh! Oh, gross! Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is anyone going to get that? No! no. I'm getting fed up with this now. Why can't the dairy just choose one voice to out with? Because then our lives would be too quiet. No! no! Adele's mobile is getting repaired. So unless you want to be like a human yo-yo, let it ring. Adele, fine! Well then answer it! Everyone's refusing to. And now there's no need. So, which of your boyfriends is the paint job for? I've got a date with Jamie. Now that I like. Jamie gave it to me. And last week Derek brought you a bag. I must say, having two boyfriends does have its advantages. Tracy, if you were to give me that bracelet, it wouldn't be too hard for me to answer your calls. Tracy, you're not getting my bracelet. Then step aside and let me pee. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, son. Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> we thought we'd have a celebratory breakfast. And then... Then we're taking you to... Yes. Oh, no. Well, can I not wait until tomorrow? No. What? I'll be there in 30 minutes. I'm sorry, Ben. Work calls. We'll reschedule. Sure. your love life. I think you'll find my rates are very reasonable. You're on. It's a pleasure doing business with you. I'll get to work immediately. I've got it! Look after Derek, Lou. I'll pop the kettle off. You know, I just get the feeling that I like Adele more than she likes me. What do you think? It's just that I really, really like her. I mean, I really, really like her. Do you know how it feels to really, really like someone? No, Derek. I'm sure you're going to tell us. Where's she rushing off to? So I've convinced Adele that I should be in charge of her love life and... Ben, am I talking to myself? Huh? I said that I am now employed as Adele's romance manager. But, Tracy, what do you know about love, romance and other people's feelings? A great deal. With my help and expertise, Adele will have the most successful love life in the history of the world. Oh. <laughs> Adele's gone out. I tried calling earlier on to say I couldn't make it, but nobody picked up the phone, so I thought if I rushed over, I'd catch it before she left. You didn't. Oh, no. That's really gonna annoy her. She might even chat me. Because you missed a date. No, it's not just that. I mean, she's been acting kind of strange lately, kind of distracted. I even got tickets for that band she likes, Corrupt Crew. <gasps> I love them. 
Do you know what you have to do, Jamie? You have to leave the whole Adele situation in my hands. What? You're putting a good word for me? Get me a ticket. I'm putting hundreds. <laughs> Trust me. Adele wouldn't make a move without running it past me first. We're like sisters. Be back at two and bring my ticket. Later. You're going to put in a good word with Adele for me? Great. I'll be back around two. Louise, I thought Adele told us to butt out of her private life. I know. But... I felt sorry for him. Well, you're going to feel even worse. Because Adele doesn't want Derek, she wants Jamie. And what makes you so certain? Because she's been right. No, my husband! No, my husband! No, my husband! None of you have any right to poke your nose into Adele's love life. She's personally entrusted all romantic negotiations to me. So drop it! <laughs> Not to interfere. Who cares what Adele wants? We're talking about free tickets to corrupt through here. I don't know. Who cares about that? Derek's been teaching me football and I'm that close to being England's youngest captain. Oh, get real. Jamie writes reviews for magazines. That means free posters, CDs, tickets for everyone. Exactly. Ah, but Derek works at the cinema. That means you get to see films for free. Tell free popcorn, sweet. I'm going to do all I can to get Adele with Jamie. Me too. Well, I'm on Derek's side. Yeah, yeah, me! Thought you were supposed to be the queen of romance and organising. Ben, we're gonna help you sort this out. Come on, it's not as if you've got anything better to do. Guess not. Come on. We're gonna have to do something special to get Adele to like Derek more than Jamie. Aww. Dolly, we could have used those. <laughs> I've got a fish. For a romantic meal. We can cook the fish I caught this morning. If you don't back down, I'm sure Justine will do the same. It's none of our business after all. All right, a day supply of chocolate if you do. Tracy, we're not interested. A week? Yes, Dolly. We want Derek in and Jamie out. So if you're not with us, you're against us. I disagree. We're cooking Adele and Jamie a romantic meal. We could cook Bumps' fish. <laughs> if you lot back down now, the others have already said they will. I bet they're here spying for the other team. Yeah. We're not. We only want to stop it before it goes too far. Mm. Ring the bell or snitch to Jenny and you'll live long enough to be sorry! Yeah! <gasps> Unbelievable. What are we going to do now? Ben, you've been nothing but a blank page ever since you got here. Um, what's with the bag? Are you running away or something? <laughs> oh, she'll burst. I forgot. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. And weren't you going to go out of your parents or something? Got called into work at the last minute. Mm, bummer. Happy birthday, Ben. Thanks, Vika. I'll never wash this cheek again. That's fine, but just make sure you wash the rest of your body. Sorry, I think you find you had your little brain away far too late. Yeah. All we've got now is an empty box of chocolates. I know. We'll fill Jamie's box of chocolates with dead romantic messages and say they're from Derek. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Win. So sorry. Quitter.
Love and thoughts sweeter than chocolate, Derek. Oh. Now! Adele, we really think Derek is the best boyfriend for you. No way! Jamie's far better looking, and he gets you better presents. Unbelievable! I told you all to stay out of my business. If I could offer my professional advice, I... No! You said you'd organise things, but you couldn't even organise brushing your own teeth. I will make up my own mind about Jamie and Derek. You're seeing both of us. I can't believe you. I really liked you, Adele. And you know what else? You and your little friends don't need to do anything else on my behalf, because I'm dumping you. So am I, and I'd like to buy all the things that I bought for you. Oh. Go away. Jenny says she wants to see you in the dining room. It's important. We thought we'd better make up for the fact that you don't have a date tonight. <laughs> I'm sure the boys won't miss this if we don't return it. Well, if they do, tough. Adele, I messed up. I'll never interfere in your love life again. I'll get it. Sorry, Adele. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry Adele. Are we forgiven? I suppose. Special delivery for Adele as a party. Cinderella, but there's no one quite like Pika. You can help if you like. Uh, no, no thanks. thanks. Suit yourself. I don't need you anyway. Because my best mate's here. Hi, Ben. No, what are you doing? Building an assault course. Oh, great. Where do you want this? Down by the tree. Oh, what a win! Doesn't look very strong. Rubbish. She could swing an elephant on this. You're a real big wuss, you are, Ben. I'm not. I'm just ri really boring. Isn't he, Tracy? Be calm. Well, you can be a bit on the safe side, Ben. Isn't that your mum, Ben? It's Mummy. Come to see Benny. Shush. Hi, Mum. Mm. You left your mobile at home. Now, the people from the Paris office are coming over today, so I'm not going to be back till late. <clears throat> You'll be OK at home on your own, won't you? Yeah, yes. of course. OK. Mm. See you later. Hi, Mum. <laughs> mwah, mwah. Oh, Benny's such a good little boy. <laughs> Beaker. Oh, you're so rude. Hey, Benny, Wenny, I know what I'd do if my parents were out all day. What? Throw a big party, Wimpo. Amber. For goodness sakes, Adele, he never did do anything like that. I might. Yeah, I bet. OK. This afternoon, my house will be there. Great. I'll go tell the others. It's going to have to be pretty special, Ben. Amber doesn't impress that easily. Thanks for laughing at me, Beecroft. I thought we were mates. Look, it was just a joke. 
ha, ha, ha. I'm laughing so much, my head's fallen off. Look, I'll give you a hand with the party. With a beaker touch, it's bound to be excellent. What makes you think I want you to come along anyway? Just get lost, Beaker. Fine! I don't want to come to a boring party of yours if you paid me! Oh, Ben, about this party. Yeah. It's for all the children, is it? Yep. And your mum, she's just popped in, especially to ask everyone. Oh, shame on Mister. I'll give her a ring, see if she needs any help with the party food. No, 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 it's fine. Well, she sees it as a bit of a challenge, actually, you know, with me being an only child and all that. She's been planning this for ages. Hey, Ben, my man, how about I wrig up a couple of decks for you? No, no, it's, it's all right. Um, don't worry, it's all under control. Gotta go. Thanks, bye. I just love a party. Oh! <laughs> you want to invite a Duke? Oh, hmm, maybe I should give Ben's mum a quick ring. Ah! Tracy. Tracy. Are you all right? I hit my head. I don't weigh more than an elephant, Jenny. Honest. Of course not. Come on, let's get you inside. you set up. Tracy with you. Nope. Just us. Right. Good. Girls are a pain. Yeah. Ow. I'm coming, Tracy. She's not going anywhere until I'm absolutely certain she's OK. I wasn't planning on going anyway. Ben couldn't throw a beanbag, let alone a party. Shall I turn the music up? If you like. Tracy doesn't know what she's missing, does she? Who needs the beaker anyway? Not me. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. Next time Jenny can come and check things out herself. You mean there's going to be a next time? Come on, Lou, let's explore. extra guests. After all, this is a lovely big house. Uh, I don't think caviar goes well with chocolate mousse. Mm, perhaps you're right. I have to remember what caviar is. It's fish eggs. Come on. Concussion, double vision, headache. Oh. How are you feeling? Oh, not too good, Duke. I've got such a throbbing headache. Can I get you anything? Perhaps a drink. Okay. A strawberry milkshake. Right. With a scoop of ice cream, grated chocolate on top of the straw. Maybe a couple of those really nice biscuits you save for important visitors. Anything else? Another ice cold flannel. Hey, those are ours. Says who? No worries, we have finished anyway. Where did you get that from? Ben. 
verder gaan naar Lucky Selling. That's nothing. Take a look outside. Louise just been sick. Not on the Persian rug. Worse. Hello? Oh, hi, Mum. You're yes, sorry, blonde. Fine. What was that? Um, no, it's just some old horror film on the telly. Better go and turn it down. Bye then. You call this a party, Ben? It's rubbish. It really needs living up. Does it? Let's have a game of cards and better for stuff. Either that, or we can smash something up. Cards sound pretty good. Let's play sharks and jellyfish. Never heard of it. Me neither. You'll soon pick it up. Feeling better, are we, Tracy? Um. Nothing like a headstand to get rid of concussion, Jenny. Hmm. Well, maybe we should pop along to Ben's party now, since his mum's been to the trouble of inviting everyone. Do I have to? Tracy, you can't let your best friend down. Well, would you look at that? I win again. Bad luck, everyone. But you said ace beats a king. Only these diamonds. But I had the ace of diamonds last time, and I still lost. Ah, but you didn't have the nine of clubs as well. Cough up, Justine. You owe me your mood ring and your bracelet. Well, Ben, looks like you're the only one left with anything to bet. Great game, isn't it? Better answer that. Before you start coming here, it wasn't my idea. If you think that, hey! I'm not glad to see you, Peacock. You are? Amber's been fleecing everyone at cards. She's won half my stuff already. Good job I decided to come then. Exactly. I thought we could play something different. Maybe even raise the stakes a little. Oh, how sweet. Benny wants to play kitty games. If you're worried I'm going to beat you, Amber, we don't have to play. Benny, you are so sad, I want to cry. But first... I'm going to win the rest of your stuff. One more game, just give me one last chance. Give it up, Ben. You've nothing left to bet with. Well, there is your posh computer. No, no, you can't bet that with a packet. Don't do anything silly, Ben. Okay, my computer against everything you've won so far. You're on. And if you win, I'll even throw on my shoes. So what are we playing then? Well, there's darts. No, not darts, not darts. Okay. Three goes with three darts each time. Highest score wins. Have you got any good games to go with it? It's your last throw, Amber. <laughs> got to beat 134, Ben. Come on, Ben. You can do it. Oh, I can't look. Hang on, Ben. Wait a minute. I thought you were left-handed. Oh, yeah. I am. Thanks, Tracy. 60. Don't forget your shoes, Amber. 
Hey, Bouncer, bet your pants you won't be able to give me a piggyback all the way home. Why, oh, you're on. I can't believe you just did that to Amber. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing. Face it, Ben, you are so cool. Hmm, forgot to mention I'm kind of good at darts. Who won this, actually? We make a good team. Right, Beaker? I can make my world come.